these bees are quite dark and uniform. There are no bees here that have got orange bands on them. These are all the same. <laughs> They don't want the um, entrance facing west, they want it facing south. So I'm going to reorganise this box, put it on some blocks and face it south for them. Right, well they should be happy now, these bees, they're now facing south. Um, quite a lot of brooders, a new queen this year in this box. And uh, I'm not quite sure why I've left them two supers above the queen excluder. But anyway, that's what they've got. They've got a brood box and two supers, then the queen excluder. Not a lot of honey in this hive, but they are making ivy honey now. I can smell it. Smelling of ivy. This is a um, deep box, 14-12. And because it's so late in the year, even though there's no longer any brood in this super above the, the box. There seems to be no queen excluder on this hive, but it doesn't seem to matter now because they've taken the queen down, they're not laying in this super, and they're just beginning to fill this area up with um, fresh honey, and then there's stored honey on the outside. So not a massive crop here, but I will take a bit. Bees are not totally dark. There's some stripy ones in here as well, but they're on the dark side. Right, I took 14 frames out of this hive. Some fully capped, some not so. But 14 frames is also what I took out last year. I see it's still got a mouse guard on. Doesn't seem to matter having a mouse guard on all year round. And I think that's one of the things I've read. Asian hornets keep the mouse guards on. I don't think we've had any Asian hornets here yet, but who knows how long. And I can see there's some honey in this top super of this one and it's got four supers mm. oh, wow. oh there's honey in this hive look at the colour of that honey it's almost almost green right and um, that was quite heavy, that box. 